let's start looking at uh, these applications themselves. Okay, so the first one I want to talk about, that one that ran across the top, is the ThingWorks Real-Time Production Performance Monitoring Application. Okay, there's a mouthful. Uh, RTPPM, short. Okay, so really the RTPPM application, it's really to address the challenges that industry are facing around you know, maximizing your production performance. Okay, so the big issue is, you know, you've got this hidden factory that's there. Okay, you've got all of these assets that are underperforming, you know, there are poor processes, maybe excessive waste, but the problem is you can't capture that information. You know, we've seen this with our customers as well. There's, you know, the, the first thing they want to do is start understanding what's actually happening out there on the shop floor, because we really don't have a good idea of that. We know we've got capacity, but we know we're not meeting our, our production uh, demands. What is the problem? Okay, so the idea is to uh, to give us tools to help monitor and understand that in real time with action, present us with some actionable data. Okay, so it really gives this uh, this way to capture and understand and visualize our OEE uh, KPI data with a template that's there out of the box, ready for us to roll out across all of our uh, all of our production equipment. Okay. This really lets you understand, you know, what's happening out there on the floor, and how can we then act upon that and make things better. Okay. So in terms of what the idea, as I said, is to gain that real-time view of your operational performance, okay, across your plants, your lines, and your assets, and we can base that on, you know, date, time, shift, or crew, whatever you need to to drill into that data on. Okay. So it's basically this pre-built application that provides out-of-the-box uh, monitoring for uh, for OEE, for uh, MTBF, MTTR, and OOE. Okay, so uh, basically there's a, a bunch of core data services built in for these uh, into these apps that calculate all of that. You basically just need to connect to the equipment, uh, feed in the particular parameters you're interested in. So there's out-of-the-box dashboards. And then reason trees to help you uh, define, you know, for the operators to define what's happening with event types. Okay, in a second. Okay, so the idea of that is really it's empowering uh, your teams to really drive impact. Some examples, you know, from some of PTC's customers around the world have been rolling these out. They're looking at five to twenty percent increase in, uh, in equipment efficiency. You know, two to ten percent increases in. Okay. So, you know, the features and key users, uh, key users, sorry. So there's a key performance indicator engine, as I said, to um, to pre or recalculate your uh, overall equipment effectiveness, OEE, I didn't say them before, your mean time to repair, mean time between failure, and your overall operations effectiveness, okay? So with these dashboards, we can then start to drill down into them, which we'll look at when we sh uh, show the demonstration. Um, and so we can start to uh, understand what's happening in there, okay? So really, the the users for this is the you know the people who need to you know make those business decisions, that to, who need access to that information to understand you know where are the weak points in our process. You know, so your department and line lead, so they can start to do you know, root cause analysis. Uh, operators can see how they're doing, what's happening on the floor as well through the operator landing page. Okay. So here is uh, I'll just go through these quickly. Some I guess some looks at uh, what these uh, what these dashboards look like. Okay. So we've got our overall uh, dashboard showing our, our KPIs that we can then start to drill down into our uh, overall equipment efficiency. Okay, so we can see things like availability of the performance and the quality based on the metrics that we set up inside there. And as we said before, we can start to filter them based on these different headings. We can look at you know maybe the current shift, maybe the last 24 hours, maybe the last month, whatever it might need to be. Okay. So for the operator landing page, they can look at, uh, you know, they can land on this page and they can look at things like downtime, waste, our production rates. So the big thing is, you know, to see problems as they're happening, so not, you know, at the end of the shift when somebody finally collates all the data to see what's, what was going on. Uh, so the idea of that is, you know, really the ability to to see things and fix them uh, in minutes rather than hours. Okay, so something's going wrong. We can see that straight away. We can react to that now while the shift is running rather than having to wait until the end of the shift before we understand what was going on, and then by then it's too late to, to fix it. Okay, maybe we can fix it for the next shift, but not the one that just happened. Okay. 
So our uh, overall equ uh, equipment efficiency overview page that we've got here. So we can see, you know, the trends of that over time. Okay, so we can look at our plotted data. We can see a timeline for that equipment. Uh, with all of these pages, we can export out the raw data if you want as a CSV file. We can, we can take that into other systems to do more analysis, whatever that might be. So we can uh, we can to toggle through these on the dashboard. So we've also got then our um, our availability. Okay, so you know we can see the percentages of downtime reasons. So that's part of our tree that we set up uh, in the apps. So when an, when there is a down when there is downtime, the operator can indicate why that was. So we can start to categorize that and see you know what are the problems that are happening. We can look at our performance overview. So we can see you know here's our ideal rate. Uh, did we meet our ideal rate? What was maybe we start to look at what were the reasons were for that? Why we didn't meet those uh, planned production rates, and we can start to look at our quality metrics as well. Okay, so similar thing. If we're getting you know, how much of is good, how much is rejects, we can see the pie chart there. Things looking pretty good at the moment. We've got 100% good. What we want to see. Okay, we can start to dig in and look at you know what are our rejects? Why are those rejects being uh, being created? Okay. Uh, we can start to configure our equipment. We'll see this in the demonstration, but the idea is we can set up our sort of our plant model configuration. So we can basically create that sort of hierarchical structure you can see there in the screenshot. We've got our um, our site, our lines, and then our equipment on the lines. So we have the ability then to look at, you know, drill down into a single piece of equipment, maybe go step back at one level to look at how a line is performing, or look at how an entire site is. Okay. Uh, the reason trees I mentioned before, so uh, we can go in and conf configure the reason trees, so we can define, you know, this sort of um, structure of, you know, to for users to explain reasons for downtime or wastage events. Okay, so we can assign codes to those to be automatically captured. So let's have uh, let's have a look at uh, at what this uh, what this looks like. Okay, so I'm just going to show a video here uh, to indicate to show. Uh, example of the real-time production performance monitoring in this demonstration I'm going to walk you through one of our thing works applications real-time production performance monitoring available as part of our factory insights as a service SAS offering or as an on-premise deployment for this demo I'm going to be playing the role of a plant manager for an automotive component production area supplying our engine assembly with parts in the past I've poured over pages and pages of reports that were collected from various sources which were not normalized on the same time accounting. But here, the real-time production performance monitoring application is collecting everything I need and putting accurate, up-to-date performance data in my hands so I can make informed, timely decisions that increase my OEE and overall yield. Let me show you how to view this information. From the landing page, I select the real-time production performance monitoring tile. Selecting here will lead me to the dashboard that I would use as a manufacturing executive or plant manager to get top-down, real-time visibility into how I'm performing against my plant KPIs. I can easily configure this dashboard, and I can drill down to get details to further understand what is impacting my KPIs. The first dashboard allows me to access dynamic KPI reports for all types of equipment that are connected to ThingWorks and are part of my plant. The advanced filter guides me through the process of configuring the dashboard to show exactly the information that will help in my current task. First, I select the equipment I want to see on my KPI report. This selector has multiple options to filter the equipment list based on types, search for names, or pick from an equipment list to make the selection easier. I have the option to select equipment from other plants to compare performance or to get an overview of the KPIs of different sites during a specific time range. In addition to the equipment, I can select the time frame over which I want to see the data. The drop-down in the advanced filter provides me with a list of common functional options. Let's look at the data from yesterday. Now I have a dashboard showing the current, consistent KPIs based on my selection criteria. This allows me to make reliable comparisons and decisions based on accurate information. I see a row for each piece of equipment requested with OEE, availability, performance, and quality data. I can drill into the details for each component of this dashboard. By clicking the KPI value, the system provides a detailed view into the historical data for the selected time frame that leads to the calculated KPI. Clicking OEE shows me the detail for the availability, performance, and quality that led to OEE and the expected outcome for each of those KPIs. 
A deep dive into performance shows how many product units were produced and expected, as well as the specified product model that was produced. This drill down functionality allows me as a plant manager to investigate low KPI values or specific events that affect the quality or throughput of my plant. RTPPM also provides an equipment centralized dashboard for production managers or shift managers. This dashboard provides insights into the performance and quality data, as well as historical trends of specific equipment. Like the KPI dashboard, our first step is to select the equipment for which we want to see the performance data. After selecting the equipment, I need to select a time frame over which to show the data on the dashboard. We see now the KPIs for the selected equipment over the time frame we pick. The user can now select the different KPI tiles to get insights into the historical trends and events that were aggregated by RTPPM to produce the KPI result. Looking into the OEE, we see the historical trend of all four KPIs, as well as the utilization timeline that displays any downtime events on the equipment. Drilling into availability provides me with a pie chart that shows the distribution between uptime and different types of downtime events. The bar chart shows the weight of the downtime event types based on time for the equipment in the selected time frame. The performance drill down shows in what performance area the equipment has operated and the production distribution during that time. Quality insights provide a view into waste events and categories. We can see how much waste was produced on this equipment during the selected time frame and the reason for the waste. The data for each of those charts in all KPI drill downs can be exported by the user for any analysis in a third-party system or to share the data with others. RTPPM allows companies to move beyond asset-oriented OEE to understand and compare performance across assets, lines, or products based on time, shift, or crew. Utilizing the Real-Time Production Performance Monitoring application, PTC customers have noted significant performance improvements in OEE and yield. Okay, so that's a little bit of an overview of uh, RTTPM.